If you're reading the tea leaves for PSVR 2 lately, it might not be looking so good. A limited roadmap, slow sales, and production allegedly even ceasing until more stock can be moved all point to a headset that's struggling. But what can Sony do? Well, anything would be better than the nothing that they currently seem to be doing about us. Hey Sony, what are you doing to improve PSVR 2 situation? Hmm? I mean, what are you doing? Like, are you doing anything to improve the situation? <laughs> nothing. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. But I think many of us would agree that a price cut, a big push for hybrid games, and better marketing would be a good start. Now, in my opinion, the highest priority of these should be the price. It is $550 and 600 euros still. And we are living in a world where the Quest 2 is now just $200. Sony needs to cut the price and it needs to be a sizable cut. But let's be realistic, the PSVR 2 is probably expensive to make. After all, there is no cheaper headset that supports eye tracking. It also has that impressive OLED display. So how can they cut the cost without taking a massive hit if they're not taking a massive hit already? Allow me to propose to you the PSVR 2 Lite. A new headset from Sony that is to be sold alongside the standard PSVR 2 which we currently have. Eye tracking, gone. OLED display, gone. Sense controllers, get them out of here. Headset haptics, vamoosh. And you know, you know, another word for gone. Now, I can already hear you laughing, saying, pumpkins, you fool. You can't take away eye tracking. It's needed for games. Well, actually, if we take a good look at the PSVR 2 library, the vast majority of us, you will find, are Quest ports that don't even utilize eye tracking. Even games that aren't on Quest, like Happy Funland, don't use the eye tracking. Take a look at this chart, which I have made, which demonstrates what I'm saying. So then you say, well, hold on a sec, what about the games that already do use foveated rendering, like GT7 and Resident Evil? And I would say to you, you can still use foveated rendering without eye tracking. You just wouldn't be able to use dynamic foveated rendering. In fact, Resident Evil 7 on PSVR 1 did already have foveated rendering. It was where the image was the sharpest in the center. And if you looked at the edges, you would see it would get lower res around the edges. So you'd be talking about patches being needed for the small amount of games that do take advantage of dynamic foveated rendering. But what about the other uses of eye tracking? What about games like Firewall Ultra or Synapse where eye tracking is used for gameplay elements? Again, the answer is patches. Sony owns Firewall, so they simply get a patch out for alternatives to eye tracking, which is what First Contact were working on anyway before they got shut down. And the same for Synapse. Now, it would be a pain for Sony, but a minor one considering very few games forced you to use eye tracking only. So that's eye tracking taken out and already Sony are saving big money on production costs because apparently eye tracking tech is super expensive. So next up is the display. Go from expensive OLED to cheap LCD or whatever it is they're using in the Quest 2. Boom. Done. More money saved. Next up, the Sense controllers. Remember PS Viewer 1? Remember how that thing cost $399 when it launched to buy? but that didn't include the camera or the move controllers. So even though the real price was over $500, when you take those into consideration, in everyone's mind, the PSVR 1 was only $399. It's a psychological thing and it's important. Sell the PSVR 2 lies with controllers sold separately and you cut $100 off the price right there so you can make that sticker in the shop window look way more appealing. And if people complain by saying you need the sense controllers, you can say, well, actually, there's games where you don't, like Gran Turismo 7 or Ultra Wings. So that's how you justify selling it with houses and making it an optional extra. Next up, headset feedback. Honestly, I have no idea how expensive something like this is, but it's not necessary. Therefore, get rid of it and get the cost down. Boom, another cost cut. And voila, you have the PSVR 2 Lite with a much more attractive price point so that when little Jimmy asks mom and dad for a PSVR 2 for his birthday, they look at the price and say, sure thing, sweetie. You and I would be horrified to lose the eye tracking and the OLED and all of that, of course. But the unwashed masses, the little kids, the mainstream, 
wouldn't even know what they were missing, and it'd still be better than the PSVR 1 thanks to the PS5's horsepower. Keep the current PSVR 2 model for the enthusiasts like us, or those who want to upgrade from the light model once it's got its hooks into them. Does this make the PSVR 2 a mainstream success overnight? No. But what it does do is it starts to move more units, starts making it harder for VR developers to ignore the PSVR 2, starts making it more appealing for flat developers to make hybrid games, and then maybe we get some momentum that can carry us to a PSVR 3. Anyway, that's my thoughts on what Sony should do. I suspect I'll get a lot of feedback telling me my thought process is too simplistic, that it would be much harder for Sony to create this than I'm making it sound. And that might be true. I'm not very tech literate when it comes to the hardware. But at the very least, can we consider selling Sense controllers separately to knock off 100 off the price? No? That's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on this idea. Go ahead and tell me how unrealistic it is. Or maybe you even agree with me and correctly think that I am a visionary. Before I go though, let me thank my channel members whose names are on the screen as we speak. Muzz, Deadeye Dan, Chopped PPE, No One Knows, Movemaster Mick, Esports Commentator for Hire, Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid, Pete Hawkins, Gaming Reptiles and Nonsense, Crumb, Superfly AF, Edify Till I Die, Lone Wolf Vior, Aced, Mr. 777, Dante Bruce and Geza. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Please try to stay moist.